Parent Family Coach. If you're new here, I am a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. And this is part of our beginner dog training series where we're going to be teaching our dog to stand up. So I've got my dog Kim here. So I believe this is the fifth video in our beginner dog training series. If you have not already gone through the first four videos, there is a link in the description to the playlist. I highly recommend that you do watch the entire playlist and follow along because we are building communication with our dog. We're building a bond with our dog. So even though some of these cues may seem relatively easy and you may be really tempted to skip past them, I highly recommend that you do not skip past them because we are building communication between you and your dog. And these, while they may seem really simple and easy to do, they, and they can be, what we're really building here is communication and bond between you and your dog. Okay, so in the last video, we were teaching the down position where your dog is fully on the ground, uh, their body is fully on the ground. And so we're gonna start in the down position. Come on, sweet pea. Let me get Kim back over here. We're gonna start in the down position and we're gonna work to an a stand or an up. It really depends what you want to call it and what cue word that you want to give your dog. Also, I do recommend using hand signals as well as the verbal cue. And the reason that I do this, I was very fortunate to my very first dog to have a deaf dog and she taught me a lot and I will never be able to repay everything that she taught me. But I did learn that hand signals are very important. And while you may not currently have a deaf dog, maybe you've never had a deaf dog, as dogs age, they can lose their hearing. Of course, some dogs are born not being able to hear, and sometimes unfortunate things happen, and our dogs may lose their ability to hear. So I do highly recommend that while you are using verbal cues, you are also using hand signals. And if you start out with a verbal cue and come in later and say, I want to add in a hand signal, that's totally fine. You can do that. I just want to encourage you to do both. So come here, Snoopy. Yes, that's my good girl. That's my good girl. Okay, so we're gonna start from a down position. So sit, down. Yes, good job. So we're gonna start from a down position. And the key here is not to let your dog walk towards you. We just want them to come up. So what my hand signal is, is a flat palm raising up. Down is a flat palm going down which she already is. So I'm gonna let her see that I have a food reward. And this is what you're gonna to wanna to do with your dog as well. I'm gonna let her see and even smell that I have a food reward. And I'm gonna take my palm and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go like this. You don't have to say up yet because we're still training what we want our dog to do. This is the, the hand signal that I want you to use. But while we're learning, while our dog is learning, I want you to use the food reward to lure her up or him. I want all four, all four on the ground. Butt up. Yes, good girl. I definitely want to get to the, I don't want her walking towards me. I just want her standing up. So I'm going to scoot away from her just a little bit. And what I'm going to do, we're going to go up. Yes, good girl. That was good. Okay, so now that we're kind of understanding the motions that we need, we're going to start adding in the Q word, which for me is going to be stand. And the reason that I'm choosing stand over up is because we tell her to come up when we want her to come up onto the couch. So I don't want to confuse the two with her. So I'm going to use the Q word stand. And again, this is up to you. You can say up if you choose that, but I'm going to use stand. 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 Yes. Oh, 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 oh. I should not have rewarded that. You didn't stand. 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 Yes, good girl. That's my good girl. Okay. Stand. Nope. Let's come back around here. 
get back in the frame. Let's get back in the frame. Okay. Stand. Oh, oh, your butt's going down too quick. So we don't want their butt to go right back down after they stand up. That's not something we want them to do. We're having a little bit of a hard time. That's okay. It's completely understandable. I'm going to, I'm not going to push up on her. I'm just going to kind of let her understand that I'm, I'm wanting her butt to come up. Stand. Yes, that's my good girl. So I didn't put any kind of force on her whatsoever. If you're struggling, then you can do that. Um, just take your hand and very gently place it on their belly. And it's going, they're going to naturally start to stand up. You don't have to force them. You don't have to push. Do not push. In fact, I don't want you to do that. We don't use force to train our dogs. So let's see. Stand. Yes, that's my good girl. So that's what we're, what we're wanting to do is to actually get our dog to stand up without walking towards us. And I know that sometimes some of these cues can be a little difficult, but again, that's the whole reason we're doing them is because we're building communication. Yes, stand. That's my good girl. That is my good girl. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. That was a good stand. Yes, it was. Okay, so I'm going to end on a high note with Kim because she's starting to get a little frustrated and I can tell. And I don't want you and your dog to be getting frustrated. That's not the point of this. I want you guys to have a good time and enjoy yourself and have some fun. And that's the whole point of all of this. So if you notice that you or your dog is getting frustrated, end on a high note. Do something simple and easy that you know they're going to be able to do so that you can reward and praise and you're both ending uh, knowing you're both ending happy. That's the goal here, right? So try this again. I, I know I say this in every video, but it is so important to do this in every room of your house. Have other people in your home work on this cue as well. Then start adding in some distraction inside of your home before moving outside because we do want to make sure that our dog understands that this, this cue, whatever cue it is that you're working on, like in this one when we're working on a stand, we do want to make sure that our dog knows that we expect the same behavior from the same cue that we're giving to them. And so we want to, to do this in many different places, different times of day, before mealtime, after mealtime. You really want to vary everything you're doing with your dog so that they don't start to think that they only have to do this one particular thing under these one, <laughs> one set of circumstances. We don't want them to get into a rut like that. We want them to know that we expect it no matter where we are or what time of day it is, that we expect that behavior from whatever cue it is we're giving them. I really appreciate you being here with me in this beginning dog training series. Again, if you have not started from the beginning, there is a link in the description to the playlist. So I definitely want you to go back to the playlist and start from the beginning because again, we are building a bond with our dog. We're building communication with our dog and that is the most important thing that we can do is to build communication and learn what your dog needs in this communication between the two of you and what you need from your dog because every dog is different and every relationship is a little bit different so you have to learn each other and learn how to communicate with each other that is really the key to this beginning dog training series that's why we're doing this so thank you again for being here with me let me know in the comments below if you have any questions um also Take pictures, take video, and tag me on Insta. My handle is right down here. I would love to see what you're working on with your dog. And start a conversation. There's also in the description below a link to my group. Join the group. That way you can post about your wins, post about the things that maybe you're frustrated with or you're having trouble with. So I can help you one-on-one. -on -one. I would love for you to join the group and do that. Thank you again for being here with me. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. When you do, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way you never miss a single video in this beginning dog training series. Also, there's going to be another video popping up around here that is, uh, YouTube is going to recommend for you to watch and it is really going to help build that relationship and bond between you and your dog. So I highly recommend you check it out. Thank you again for being here. I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.